Hi everyone. Welcome to Race to IAS Current Affairs Guru. Today we are going to discuss about the recent incident of the Supreme Court questioning the central government representative against fake news. Before moving into the topic, please make sure that you like, share and subscribe this YouTube channel. So, let us move into the topic. First of all, let us look into the news relating to the incident. The Supreme Court was replying to Sri Tushar Mahata who filed an affidavit in the matter of the Jamaat petitions which sought a direction from the court to the Information and Broadcasting Ministry to identify and take strict actions against sections of media that communalized the tablik incident which was about the holding of their meat during the covid-19 lockdown at the national capital delhi the supreme court also observed that the inability on the government's part may well see the job go to an outside agency the supreme court also observed on the lack of an institution to curb fake news by stating that create one if an authority does not exist or we will hand over the job to an outside agency sharad arvind bobde the present chief justice of india who was heading the three judge bench said that they were disappointed in the latest affidavit the latest is the third in the row the chief justice of india had termed the first one filed by an under secretary evasive and even nonsensical let us look into certain details about fake news fake news can be of various types it includes misinformation that is false information disseminated without harmful intent as well as disinformation created and shared by people with harmful intent and also mal information the sharing of genuine information with the intent to cause harm termed as infodemic by the director general of world health organization fake news has become a serious issue for our society and is needed to be curbed it is the article 191a of indian constitution that deals with freedom of speech and expression let us look into certain legislations that are present in india against fake news section 153 499 500 and 5051 of indian penal code can be used against fake news section 54 of the disaster management act 2005 can also be used for the same purpose there are various institutions like the press council of india news broadcasters association indian broadcasters foundation etc that can be used to curb fake news the information and broadcasting ministry of india in november 2019 has planned to set up a fact checking module to counter the circulation of fake news by continuous monitoring of online news sources and publicly visible social media post the full form of fact is find assess create and target So these are the two statements in which the Supreme Court mentions some institutions as well as certain legislations in India. So let us look into detail what are these mentions. The first one being the Cable TV Regulation Act 1995. The section 19 of the Cable Television Networks Act 1995 gives power to prohibit transmission of certain programs in public interest the section 20 of the same act gives power to prohibit or regulate programs or channels that are against any public decency or morality but the information and broadcasting ministry in a case against sudarshan news for a controversial program stated that the pre censorship was not possible under this act so the next mention made by the supreme court 
is about News Broadcasting Standards Authority or NBSA. The NBSA is an independent nine-member body set up by the News Broadcasters Association or NBA for self-regulation of 24 into 7 news channels. The current president is Rajat Sharma. So this is all about our discussion. As part of our conclusion, let us look into certain multiple choice questions about the topic that we have dealt today. First question, who is the present information and broadcasting minister of India? Ravishankar Prasad, Ramesh Pokriyal Nishank, Pragash Javadekar, Smriti Irani. The correct answer is Pragash Javadekar. He is also the current environment minister. Who is the current Chief Justice of India? Sharad Aravind Bobde, Ranjan Gogoi, Deepak Misra, none of this. The correct answer is Sharad Aravind Bobde. So that's all for today. The PDF of this material is available in our Telegram channel. So kindly follow Race to IAS in Telegram as well as in all social media platforms. Thank you all and have a nice day.